Hello guys. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people have been having issues getting their original Sims 1 game to play on their computers because like after a few updates on the new computers and if you have like Windows 7 and up it's really difficult to get the Sims game to actually play. It like gives you like a bunch of weird errors. And so they're cutting down trees so I'm very sorry if you hear all that noise. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I have the answer or somewhat of what works for me. Hopefully this will all work for you because it's kind of a shame whenever you can't play one of your favorite games. And I hear this will work with almost any of the games that your computer will no longer play that they used to make for like, like the older computers like, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon and stuff like that. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to get up your command prompt box, but you want to run it as an administrator. Don't just open it up regularly you want to run it as an administrator because I think that's the only way you can get these select things to come up and then I have this saved on a uh, what is it a a word file like a word document so I don't have to type it in every single time and it's just saved there to you have to start out this um, process first which will cut off the thing that's blocking your game from playing so um, I'm just gonna paste it in here and I will leave these in the description so that you guys don't have to go find them or try and read the tiny print on the screen I'll make it so that you guys can just copy it and paste it from the description or something and that way you'll be able to do it but um, it's a uh, start CMD um, period exe slash K space, um, then you want to use the quotes and do SC space config space SECDRV space start equals demand in quotes <laughs> and then you just want to hit enter and that will automatically pop up another window which will just move out of the way um, as much as I can. There we go. And then there's a second one that you'll want to copy into the thing because it also helps like do a thing then you copy and paste and then it's start cmd dot exe space slash k space quote sc start sec drv in quotes and then you'll hit enter again it'll open up another window that's all you do that's all you do and you can play your game you can open up the sims and play as much as you'd like and you know whenever you're done you don't have to do anything but I choose to do the end thing that stops it and starts the thing back up to where you can play your things again so I'm gonna show you that too when you're done playing with the Sims and you don't wanna play for a while or you just wanna go do other things and you want your computer to go back to normal like I guess if you're just weird like me cuz it's not gonna hurt you cuz it'll just start itself back up the next time you reboot your computer but sometimes I just worry that my computer is gonna do something stupid unless I fix it so if you wanna fix it then you just go and uh, copy and paste start cmd.exe slash k quote sc stop sc drv quote and then you hit enter it'll give you a pop-up you can either move it out of the way you can close those pop-ups if you want to they're just letting you know what's happening but then there's another one that you do and it is this copy paste and it's start cmd.exe space slash k space quote sc space config space sc the sec drv space start uh, equals disabled in quotes and um, that'll do another thing and now it's back up and running so I can just close out of all those windows um, that just shows that everything else is back up and running now so now if I were to try and play the game it wouldn't let me play I wonder if I could like I wonder if I could get that to show at all if that would be a thing I have no idea hmm I don't know. Let me see if I could get the game to play without having that open. Because I don't think that I can. Yeah, it says, um, let me see if I can get that to show. And then this is what shows here. 
that shows uh, please log in with administrator privileges and try again. So that's what it turned off. So when that is um, turned off, then I should be able to, you know, not be able to get into the game. But if I put these, if I put these first two um, back in this uh, start demand and the start SCC DRV, it'll allow you to play it again. I know it like it's weird and I don't fully understand it. I only know because I found this on a website, but I, that was only after like months and months and months of searching through all of Google's like smatterings of just people like upset that it doesn't work and then I don't know how to fix it like that it was always like solved but it was solved in a way that I can I can't get to work for me or a way that feels like it's so bugged that I don't want to try and use on my own computer so yeah that's not something that I'm willing to go through but I will leave these in the description and if you have any questions at all, like any questions at all, just feel free to ask. Like I'm always ready to like text or uh, you can go to my Facebook page, it's whatever. Anywhere you feel more comfortable and like leaving me a message or something, I'll definitely help you out there because it's just not fair for you to not be able to play the games that you used to want to be able to play. So that's just a thing. Sorry, I look like crap because I just came home from work and I just whatever I was super late today so I don't really care about how I look but anyways I really hope you guys um, have got some kind of thing in here and I will put this command back in and I'll show you like how I get the game to run in just a second and see this is me actually in the game I've got my game on a larger resolution whenever you put it on the larger resolution you'll get the blue bars but if you put it on the original like 800 by 600 I think it is it'll fill up the entire screen but if you see like if I click on like a house like one of my sims houses it should just go directly yeah see it fills up the entire screen again and it's better quality but um but yeah this is literally me playing the game so um I couldn't film the uh, actual screen cap with the with the OBS that I was using I for some reason it just would not let me so I um I instead have um are we going to work? Okay. Oh, he's going to school. Never mind. Is he going to work? No. What is he doing? Is he coming home? I have no idea what they're doing. I I, I forgot that I wasn't playing the game. Anyways, um but yeah, I can just play the game from here. I couldn't record the uh the screen capture in OBS like I wanted to because it just wouldn't register that this is a game, I guess, or a window. If I had played it in like windowed mode, maybe that would be a thing, but I did not because I like it being full screen and everything. But yeah, so this is how you would play The Sims. Um I hope this helped you guys just a little bit I don't know if it did you guys could leave a like or you don't have to either way it's kind of cool I just am glad I could help if I did if I didn't help I'm really sorry I, I, I don't know what else to do I really don't um and if you guys have any other interest in anything else that I've done you can click on any of the links in the description I'm sure there's probably not a lot you know going on for me there <laughs> anyways guys I hope you guys have a really great rest of the day or morning or wherever you're from have an amazing whatever and i will catch you guys in the next episode bye guys